Hey everyone, this has been a discordant day for me. It's Monday. I don't know what your Mondays are like, but today just been juggling with a lot of information, uh, a lot of different personalities. Maybe you had to do that uh, where you work as well. Got disturbing news from a country of two associates of mine uh, that uh, are missing, and uh, we uh, fear the worst. They've they've uh, they've been taken uh, because of their Christian work and ministry. Uh, it comes close to home uh, to me, uh, concerned about the soft totalitarianism that I'm seeing more and more in our country, uh, the surveillance technology is being used. Uh, uh, we as consumers love that surveillance technology. It makes it easier for us to find the product we want to buy online. But uh, that same information can be used for very dark purposes. And in the countries where these two uh, men lived, that kind of surveillance technology has, uh, well, we feared the worst for them. So it's been a discordant day. I think there's a lot of naivete in America as to what's actually happening right now. Uh, so I've uh, been dealing with some negative news, but uh, my life is built on the rock, which is Christ. And I guess that's what I want to just urge everyone to do right now is just look down at your feet and ask yourself, what is my life standing on right now? Just make sure it's standing on the rock of Christ. This is a quote from the book that I've been mentioning uh, often, Live Not By Lies, a manual for Christian dissidents. This is something that uh, Rod uh, Dreher says in the book. If you are not rock solid in your commitment to traditional biblical Christianity, then the world will break you. But if you are, then this is the solid rock upon which the world will be broken. And if those solid rocks are joined together, you and I united as Christians, they form a wall of solidarity that is very hard for the enemy to breach. I'm going to read that one more time and just, just close. If you are not rock solid in your commitment to traditional Christianity, then the world is going to break you. But if you are, then this is the solid rock upon which that world will be broken. And, in, and if those solid rocks are joined together, they form a wall of solidarity that is very hard for the enemy to breach. The stone that the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. That's what it says in 1 Peter chapter 2. And that's Jesus. The stone the builders rejected, the stone that the world's rejected, Jesus Christ, has become the chief cornerstone. And now we as living stones have been built together to become, Ephesians 2.20, a habitation of God for the Spirit of God in this day and this time. Hey, the news may be bad around you, but there's better news in Jesus. God bless you today.